First up in this week's news roundup, Vodafone has revealed it will be offering the Samsung Galaxy Edge very soon. The odd Galaxy Note Edge phone seemed like it'd be stuck in its native South Korea as a concept, but it looks like it will be making its way to our shores after all. Vodafone has popped the fabula up on its coming soon page, meaning it won't be long before you'll soon be able to place an order. It's largely the same as the stylus toting Galaxy Note 4, only it boasts a wraparound screen on the edge that can give you notifications and act as additional touch controls. It packs in a 5.6 inch quad HD display, a quad core 2.7 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon 805 processor, along with 3 GB of RAM and a 16 megapixel rear camera. There's no word on pricing and availability at the moment, but you can expect that the Galaxy Note Edge won't be cheap. Mobile Fun, for example, is offering the phone SIM free for £645, although it may work out cheaper on contract. And sticking with Samsung, it looks like we won't have much longer to wait for their VR headset. The Gear VR is set to ship in December for $199. The Samsung Gear VR was developed in conjunction with virtual reality gurus Oculus, and rather than having its own dedicated display, it uses the screen on the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Simply slip your supersized Galaxy phablet into the headset and you'll be good to go. And that offers some notable advantages. It means you're not paying extra for screen tech for start, and Samsung's phablet already packs in a pretty impressive Quad HD display. Sadly though, with a price tag of $199, the developer version of the Gear VR, dubbed the Gear VR Innovator Edition, isn't quite as cheap as we were hoping, especially considering those with different smartphones will need to upgrade to a Galaxy Note 4 as well. It's certainly a lot pricier than the £60 Carl Zeiss VR1, but only time will tell whether Samsung can offer a more complete VR experience. But Samsung is certainly pulling out all the stops. Gamers are set to benefit from a bundle that includes a Bluetooth gamepad for $249. And we love the idea of playing the latest titles in a totally immersive world. And finally, Sony is throwing everything at its bid to take over your living room. And hot on the heels of its PlayStation TV micro console, the Japanese giant has now unleashed the PlayStation View web-based TV service. It's the latest in a long line of TV on-demand services, and it'll have its work cut out of it if it's going to take on established players like Netflix. At present, the service is being rolled out across the US, and it's set to offer up some 75 channels, from major programmers including CBS, Discovery Communications, Fox, NBC Universal, and Viacom. Unlike Netflix and Prime Instant View, however, PlayStation View also offers access to live TV and can show the past three days of programs without you needing to remember to record your favourite flicks. It sounds a bit like BBC iPlayer, just with more channels and hopefully a lot more on-demand programs and films. Initial trials of the service are starting with a beta preview for the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4, rolling out across New York, Chicago, Philadelphia and Los Angeles. PlayStation View is set to make an appearance on the iPad and other gadgets after that, and fingers crossed it'll also be rolled out across different countries in the not-too-distant future.